So here we see the uh, seven planets or gods, if you will, that are visible uh, to the earth with the naked eye. You have the sun, you have Mercury, Venus, the moon, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. These are the seven gods of the ancient world. These are the, 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 the uh, planetary bodies that can be seen with the naked eye. One cannot see beyond Saturn without the aid of a telescope. We see that each day of the, of the week is given to one of these seven gods. So we have, we have the days of the week given in English and French, and then we have the planetary body that they are associated with. Monday is the moon's day. Tuesday in French is Meridi. It's where we get the phrase Meridi Gras from. That's Mars's day. Uh, interestingly, uh, the 9-11-2001 event took place on a Tuesday for the invocation of Mars, the Roman god of war. Wednesday is Mercredi in French. That's Mercury's day. Thursday is Thor's day in Norse ideology. Uh, Thor was Jupiter. Friday in French is Vendredi. That's Venus's day. Saturday and Sunday are relatively self-explanatory. Uh, the, uh, the Jewish religion is Saturnian based. It's the, the stars and planets, uh, astrotheologically, the religion of the stars and planets. And uh, therefore, its day of worship is Saturday after Saturn, that they, who they considered, since it was the farthest body out from the, from the sun that could be seen with the naked eye, it was considered the ruler of the planets. And then, of course, Sunday is the sun's day. The uh, Christianity worships on Sunday, being a solar cult. Our whole notion of time and how we see time is also affixed to the concepts of astrotheology. So we have the three astrotheological sects, the sun, the moon, the planets and stars, and we look at our clock being a symbolic uh, zodiac. It has the 12 houses, okay? It has three hands. Each one of the three hands of an analog clock is given to one of the uh, sets of astrotheology, the solar, the lunar, and the planetary. So we see that the sun is given the hour hand, the most important hand, because it's the hand of Horus, the sun god. The minute hand is named after Min, which is an ancient name for the moon. Min was the moon uh, in, uh, in Phoenician. And uh, the, uh, the minute hand is, is dedicated to the moon on the clock. And the second hand is the fastest hand that travels around the clock more than any other any of the other hands because it is given to Mercury. It's the planetary hand or the, 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 the pinpoints of light in the sky, the lesser lights, because Mercury is the second body of the solar system after the sun, and it makes its orbit around the sun faster than any other object in the solar system. 